a request for some bicep videos for YouTube. So I'm just going to show you what I normally do in my everyday bicep routine. And what I usually like to think about first and foremost over everything is form and range of motion. So a while ago I injured my chest and my shoulder. And so this is an exercise that I picked up that really helped me to eliminate having to use either one of those muscle groups and just focus on my biceps. So I'm going to use this chair and I'm going to start out at 10 pounds to warm up. So I like to actually, because I'm shorter, I like to sit off of the chair. It's your choice. You can sit on or off. So standing, I'm just going to allow my entire arm to rest on the bench, underhand grip. And again, I have the fullest range of motion that the machine is going to allow me to do. And on the exhale, I'm going to pull it in, close my shoulder, inhale, and I let it go down slowly. So I like to change for two different things. One is for power and one is for strength. So on the way up, I can go a little bit quicker for that power move. And on the way down, the eccentric contraction, this is where I'm really letting my muscle grow. Okay, so straight up and slow down. And in my warm-up set, I like to do three to four sets of every exercise. In my warm-up set, I will do anywhere from 10 to 12 reps to get the blood flowing. And you'll see as I'm going through the exercise routine that my arms will start to feel a little bit more pumped. Part of that is just the blood flow going into the muscle and the other part is supplements. I just took some Zap today for my days. Okay, I'm going to switch arms. So I'm standing off the side, keeping my entire arm on. The other thing that you want to think about when you're doing any exercise is it's called a core thing engaged. It's kind of like doing a kegel. That helps keep everything nice and supported. So there's no point in really doing a shorter range of motion. Finally, with my wall, you're strengthening your connective tissue. I'm getting into the brachioradialis. As well as the main part of my head. And just because you've got to keep your hand nice and relaxed, you don't have to have, have such a strong grip. Just squeeze the bicep. You can also come around so you can see the side view. Just go in the inside and the outside. And doing the unilateral you know, movement, doing one arm at a time is also great. You can start to see which arm you have strength and weaknesses on. Take it slow on the way down. Take it on the way up. Again, incorporate your uh, your your shoulders and your shoulders. You want to keep it nice and relaxed on the bench. You can see the pump is starting to happen a little bit already. Okay. Do one more set, taking it up to 20 pounds. Tricep exercise, but today we're just going to focus on biceps. 
a good reason to do that is you're going to be working with closing muscle groups, so it kind of gives the muscle that you are working a little bit of break and a little bit of stretch. The other thing to think about too is if you start to get tired, and let's just say I did eight on the right hand, and then the left hand started to struggle a little bit, you can help yourself on the way up, but try and release on the way down. So for example, if I'm here, I can go in, I can give myself a little bit of help, but only as much as I need to get it up, and then release it, and work on the eccentric contraction on the way down. Okay, thank you. We're gonna go on to the next exercise. A little break, a little stretch. And actually, I'm going to come over here. You can do these pull ups. So, there are many different ways to do pull ups. And if you're on your hand position, you can get a uh, good target for muscle groups. Flats, um, lots of back in general. But if you turn your hands around to the inside grip, then you can start to focus a little bit on the Right foot, right foot more than other muscles. I'm going to grab a quick drink of water. I'll be right back. <laughs> and generally, you should take a little bit of rest in between exercises to recover anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. So I'm going to come on the inside over here. Sometimes the hands get a little bit slippery. And come down. So, the first thing you want to do is engage your lap so that you're not hurting your shoulders. And pull. Pull it. And control it on the way down. So, if this is really tough at the beginning, you can always use, um, oh gosh, what is it? My husband and I affectionately call the machine, the Viagra machine, the one that you add weight to to help you come up. It's a good way to build in the beginning. I like to do with those. Um, a little bit of a concentration curl, hammer curls, and a drag. So come on over. So normally I will start out with five pounds to warm up, and then I will go to 15 or to 10, and then depending on what's available. I'll go for 15 or 20. I was doing 20 a lot before my injury, but I've kind of come back to uh, build strength back up. So before I warm up, I'm going to go through the three to 10. And we're going to start with the hammer curl. So when you do this one, you want to keep the elbows nice and still, so not swinging all around. And you want to flex the bicep and try to move the bicep as much as you can. So, for example, I'm not going to be swinging my arms up. I can even without lifting the arm, I'm already going to flex that bicep. So the bicep is the only thing that's working. And then again, you can pull and control it down. So, with every exercise I do, I do like to think about power up and strength down. again to the form and you want to think about the muscle that you're trying to work. Get in there. So anywhere between eight to ten reps on each other is good. Good. So um, the next one, let's do the drag, drag dumbbell. So arms are by your side. You're going to shoot your elbows back as you curl your arms in and control it down. And exhale, lift. And draw it. You can get a little bit trapped in here as well. And release. Exhale, pull. And then release. So from the front, pull. And release. Pull. So 
remember to always click the app on page two to support you. Um, the next one, you can do standing or sitting. I like to do it standing. So starting facing forward, you're going to lift, rotating the wrist outside of the shoulder, and control it down. And curl. I remember um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and something iron talking about the pump and how good that feels. That's true. It feels like your arms are starting to swell because it can almost break through the skin. Then it goes away. So those are all the exercises that I do for bicep. And a lot of times on back day, still you'll start to engage your bicep muscles in rows. But we've got our cricket curl, our drag dumbbell, hammer curl, and concentration curl, and two nuts. So three sets of everything. You can gradually increase weight as long as your form is good. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.